Panto has been awesome. Genuinely amazing experience. I've really enjoyed it because I've never done a panto before. Like my background is like musicals, that's the kind of stuff I like to do. I've never really done the whole oh no it isn't that interaction with the audience because in like, like most musicals you don't really get that. And it's been really fun to play with that. So it's been good. When we um, first read the script, I remember I saw you waiting for him to say day and you're like as soon as a day. And then as soon as day you're like boom boom. For me, getting into character was really weird. Um, I play a woman and I'm not a woman. So a lot of the time, Brilliant. it's a bit strange. Um, so, that pretty well. so you sort of go from like deep voice, well, somewhat deep voice, voice, um, voice, male voice, to hello, I'm Cookie. It's a bit awkward, but it's really fun to do. Queen is a really interesting character, and like, I just really enjoyed playing her. I kind of always knew the kind of voice I was going to go with. It's like um, hello, like kind of like posh, like over the heads. I like to think of myself as a comedic person, and so getting this really funny character that sort of had conversations with the kids, I have like just moments where I'm just like talking and then like a joke will come into my head and I'm like, I'm saying that right now because it's funny. The funniest moment of Panto, we were in a night performance and we get on for the end scene where I have to jump into the Mad Hatter's arms and sort of pretend I'm in love with him. My wig, my stocking cap, my microphone all falls off my head and all the audience just laugh. It was just so funny because uh, the character playing Sunny Bunny, he just jumped in with his line and it saved it and it was brilliant. It was really funny because like, there was a massive pause and he's just like, Wonderland is free again. 